Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do a little roundup. So uh, I have some stuff here that I want to get into the pass around group. And um, yeah, so I just want to show it to you, I, I guess, one more time, and we'll kind of go from there. Uh, so one of them is the CJRB Axis Lock folders. We have the Hectare and the Prada. Uh, these are interesting. They're absolutely wild color-wise. Uh, I, th I believe they do have some subtle colors. I've gotten a little better at the reverse flick on the Hectare. Um, you just got to dig your finger in there and fire it. I still cannot thumb flick it, uh, which is just kind of weird. Um, but it's very comfortable in hand. It you know It's got all the things going for it that I like, like a strong spring, good ergonomics, all that. Slicey. Um, but it's just a little bit oddball, you know, that's kind of how I feel about it, but, uh, I'm sure it's very affordable. Check out the link down below to CJRB and, um, yeah, if you're cool with just reverse flicking or slow rolling, then, you know, this is cool and just try to find a color that makes sense and maybe matches. I don't know. Uh, the Prado here is a Ray Laconico design and, uh, it's a little bit bigger, you know, so it's a large knife, but uh, again, nice grind, cuts well. Uh, they they put great springs on these. That's one thing I got to give CJRB uh, credit for. They put great springs on these. Um, green color, you know, take it or leave it. I'm sure they have a plain one. Reversible clips on these, even though it can be annoying to uh, get the screws reversed and everything. But uh, yeah, flat scales, you know, pretty much no frills, but uh, affordable axis lock folders if that's something you're looking for. So those are a couple from uh, CJRB. Uh, I wanted to give you one last look at the Tuya Wrath V2 in this Tanto format. So this has got a carbon fiber inlay, which is interesting. It's also very odd now that I'm looking at it. Um, the inlay doesn't follow really anything. Um, it's just kind of like there in a shape, like there's no, it's not following a contour or like a lanyard thing or anything. It's interesting. Um, but anyway, you have a really nice belt satin S90 V blade, Dave Warren design. I love that they did a Tanto cause I like it much better than that drop point. Um, you have plenty of lock bar access, great action. This is on skiffs, of course really stout detents on these almost too strong but you know there's really not such a thing for me pops out of there with the front flipper nice flipper tab so you can roll back it even though it has that strong detent and uh takes a little bit of finger strength there to do the reach around scalloping right here um good ergonomics comfortable in the hand again s90b uh gonna perform well and uh, yeah, the two year Wrath V2, man, uh, what a great knife. Comes in two blade shapes and three uh, versions. So you have six total options. I'll link it down below. You can use my code LEFTY to get 5% off at twoyearknifeus.com. So you'll save some dollars if you use that link. Um, yeah, really cool knife. One of the better ones from two year ever. Uh, and one of the better knives come out this year. So that is the Wrath V2. Then I have uh, this fixed blade I figured I'd show you again from Axial Gear. And this has removable, swappable inlays. So you just stick a tool down there, pop these up, and you can pull them out. And they mag magnetically seat in there. And then you could swap them out. Right now they have Black G10 and OD Green Micarta. But they're working on fat carbon inlays, which is going to be sweet. MagnaCut blade at 62 HRC. Watch my video on it. Uh, I did roll the edge on a zip tie. Um, I don't know what happened there. I'm not an expert. I was able to bring it back very quickly with a honing rod and a strop. But um, just want to note that they do state that it's at 62. So that's good, I guess, uh, for a fixed blade. Titanium scales are really cool. It's something you don't see much. It's very comfortable in the hand. It's a very good cutter, very good slicer. Comes with this lanyard with a titanium bead and a very nice sheath that has an ulti clip on it. And there's three blade shapes. 
Warren Cliff, uh, sort of a Tanto, and this Drop Point. So you have a lot of options with this guy. Go check them out. I have a link to Axial Gear. as I have a link for all these, apparently. Uh, I have a link for Axial Gear. You can use code LEFTY05. That'll get you 5% off your purchase over at Axial Knives, uh, which is kind of cool. USA made, by the way, fully machined and made in the United States, which is very, very cool. The next one up is from Kube, as my buddy Stevie would say. This is the Kube Veragero. And uh, this one's pretty sick because, well, it's $118. It's $118. It's in titanium. Blue accents, titanium accents, obviously, clip and everything. And then you have a belt satin 14C28 and blade steel. The designer is not anybody I've heard of before. I believe his name is George. And then it's a Eastern European name. I apologize. Um, but very, very cool. Uh, the price tag is really what's crazy about it. And you can use my code, which will be down in the description. It's like LT06YT or something like that. I think it's like uh, Lefty. LT and then 06 for 6% and then YT for YouTube. I don't know, but it'll be linked down there. So you'll see it and you can just click on it and copy. Um, but you can save another, I think 6% on this guy. So, you know, you pay somewhere around a hundred bucks for this thing, which is pretty wild. Uh, very comfortable in the hand would be even better with a hollow grind. And we all know Kubi can do a hollow grind with a belt satin. So, you know, uh, I do think it has uh, interesting uh, vibes of, like, Luft Concepts and the Peña Mula. Um, and I mean that, like, in a good way. I like both those knives. Uh, very interesting lanyard slot. Matches kind of the hole, which is interesting. Um, lock bar access works. Swings down. Great action. Dead nut centered. I mean, Kubi's doing a great job, guys. Thumb flick. Just, yeah, it's a good one. That's the Veragero from Kube. All right, uh, what else do I want to show you guys? Oh, I have these in from Rosecraft Blades. So this is a sort of canoe pattern. It's something oak bed or obed creek or something. Um, I don't know why I said that. I literally have the box right here, dude. Obed Creek. Hey, Bo Trevor. I was close. Now, these are at traditionalpocketknives.com. So you can go over to traditionalpocketknives.com. Link down below. And you can use code LEFTY10 on Rosecraft Knives uh, Blades. So I can actually give you 10% off of Rosecrafts now at traditionalpocketknives.com. These are like $60. And uh, yeah, they're just really cool for that price point. I do wish they would use something other than D2 just so it would be stainless. Like, shit, even 8CR would be better than D2 for me uh, because I will rust this, you know? Uh, obviously, I want it to be like 12C27 or something. Whoa. Um, but yeah, you have this sort of canoe pattern. You can, uh, is that what I, I just keep saying it. It's like a banana handle, pistol grip style. Um, one thing is the springs are a little bit lighter on these, but they do have like satin finishes. So um, it would be hard to pinch if it was much stronger. Um, but the walk and talk is quite good, and the nail nicks are pretty usable. Um, blade feels sharp. Steel bolsters, you have a skull inlaid uh, crest there. The uh, gapping is pretty damn good on these, and the uh, springs are flush. So for the price, I think these are just very, very good. Um, I do have another one in here. This is the, uh, I did a video on this just recently. These are the Cavill Knives pouches. So I have a link for that as well. You can check out the video, but very cool pouches. This is the uh, Savage Creek Gunstock, I believe. Savage Creek Gunstock. And this thing is excellent. Look at that handle. I, I just love that micarta. I love that crest. I I love how comfortable it is in hand. It's, 
You know, if you've ever seen the gun stocks from Jack Wolf, I really like those. They're comfortable too, but they're much more aggressive on the gun stock. Like this part will jump out further, right? This is a subtle gun stock, and I like that. It feels really good in the hand. I think a, a slim, small gun stock would be really cool to see from Jack Wolf after handling this. Um, it's also got a little bit of like a coffin thing going on back here. I don't know. Uh, again, gapping and uh, flushness are very good. Spring is really light on this one. But again, if it was much stronger, I, I think I would struggle to get it out of there. That's what she said. Um, so I kind of get it. Uh, again, feels sharp, sharp enough anyway. Um, nice blade shape on there. Uh, you can use that because the tip is actually centered pretty much. It's not really a clip point. I mean, it is, but you know what I'm saying. I can get to that tip nice and easy. And uh, just solid knives from uh, Rosecraft. I was impressed with these. So those are the Rosecrafts. And then a quick look at uh, whew, the uh, Penguin here. This is the exclusive from traditionalpocketknives.com. S90B belt satin hollow ground blade jig titanium milled pocket clip really good button lock action I put skips in here and it got better um, good detent on that spring like it feels oops, it feels like a detent like it breaks it's it's pretty well done guys I gotta say and I'm not a button lock guy these thumb studs really fire if you hold that button It'll swing down, um, dead nut centered, like just quality here from QSP. Great work from traditional pocket knives, getting QSP to dial these in, making those changes that make it, you know, better cutter, more comfortable, all that kind of stuff. The things that uh, Austin is very good at. So that is the uh, QSP Penguin exclusive. Let's see, what else do I have? Um, well, you guys have all seen this a bunch of times, but the Bird Blades Mini Sweeney. I don't know if these are still available. They did the drop uh, last week on the 15th, but this is one of my favorite knives this year. I mean, I have a good number of knives that came in early in the year that just really stole my heart. Um, this, the uh, Mini Tempest, the Paramore, the... Um, the uh, X Mid, the uh, CKF Dabless. There's just a, a bunch of them, really. Um, but this is probably my favorite out of the bunch. I absolutely love this knife. He had a, five new versions available on the drop. So hopefully they're still available if you want to pick one up. Um, but definitely check it out if you have not. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I think that'll that'll do us for this episode of rapid reviews you got the mini sweeney from bird blades you got the uh, kubi Veragero. you got the rosecraft obed creek i forget you have the savage creek gunstock two your knives wrath v2 qsp exclusive penguin at traditional pocket knives and you have the cjrb prado cjrb hectare the uh, Axial Knives Fixed Blade. Right there. I think that's it. I mean, just for shits and giggles. The Premium Pony Stouts. These are dropping on the 22nd as well with those penguins. I have told you guys about them a million times, but that's my job. So uh, these will be dropping at White Mountain Knives at noon Eastern Time on the 22nd of March. There'll be 175 retail. Use the code LEFTY10. There'll be $157 out the door. S90B titanium scales. I don't know, man. Good knife. Anyway, uh, that's it, guys. I love you. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And if you need links to anything, shit, there's going to be a pile of them down there. I didn't realize they were all things I had links for. I don't have a link for Berg. So, ha ha. I'm not a shill. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I just wanted to get these wrapped up so I could get them into the pass around. So that's what it's about for me. But uh, if you guys do click those links, it does help. So, hey, you know, can't hurt. Anyway, love you guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. Come check out the live streams on Thursday nights at 9.45 p.m. Eastern. 
I'm always giving away awesome stuff, just like all this stuff. And uh, I love hanging out with you guys and chatting. It's an absolute blast. So uh, check out the live streams. You know, subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. It might be right here. And uh, I love you guys. I'll catch you later. Peace.